Good morning, friends. It's certainly good to be able to come back into your presence to share with you coffee and conversation. What a great way to get a new day started for the glory of God. Today, my friend, I want to bring to you a devotion that I've titled The Ache of the Soul. In 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 21, the Bible says, For we are taking pains to do what is right, not only in the eyes of the Lord, but also in the eyes of men. In your spirit, you ache to be more like the person the Lord wants you to be. My friend, as I begin to think about the words of the writer, uh, there is an ache in my soul. You see, in your own spirit, if you're a child of God, you ache to be more like the person that the Lord wants you to be. In your spirit, my friend, if you're a child of God, you ache to do more of what the Lord wants you to do. And if you're a child of God, in your spirit, you ache to walk closer to the Lord to have a closer walk with him. My friend, in your spirit, you ache to be more holy. In your spirit, you ache to be more godly. In your spirit, you ache to have more righteousness. In your spirit, you ache to be more devout in your walk with Christ. My friend, according to his precious will, today may your soul always ache for the Lord, so that you can be more like Jesus. Father, today I thank you that I ache in my soul to be more like you. I have not arrived. There are some, Lord, who think they have arrived, but I have not arrived. You're still working on me to make me what I ought to be. Thank you for loving me enough to work on me. And thank you enough, O oh Lord, or thank you, Lord, for enough uh, of a desire to follow you that I ache in my soul. Always, God, cause me to ache to be more like you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, my friend, I hope you have a great day. Go out into your world. Uh, make a difference. Be careful. Smile, let others see Jesus in you, for your life may be the only Bible that some will ever read. Have a great day.